Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. Do I have a great video for you guys today? One of my cooking videos. You guys know I am in the midst of writing a cooking book, a prison cooking book, and I'm showing people how we did it in prison. Before I get started, please check us out on Patreon. Please check us out on YouTube, member programs. We got that. We got merch. We have everything up there. Please check it out. Uh, any support you can give and please subscribe. Let me jump into how I cook grilled cheese. And I know you're thinking, what do you mean grilled cheese? Yeah, grilled cheese like your mom makes. Even better, and I'm gonna show you why. There's a little bit of a difference I make and how we made it in prison and how we had to get stuff uh, from the kitchen to make it. First of all, what you need to make a good grilled cheese sandwich is, of course, cheese. Now, look at the way this cheese came. This is actually the way it came. Guys would steal it, they'd steal, you know, it comes, cheese come in big blocks. So they'd steal it, they'd get, you know, a chunk and they'd sell you a chunk. Usually you'd sell, buy like something like this for 50 cents, a couple of slices of cheese, four. Bread is the same way. As you can see, it's in cellophane. And what would happen in prison is people would go to, go to breakfast, They'd have bread in the mornings or whatever they'd have. You know, you can get butter and bread and all that. And they would smuggle it back to the unit and they'd sell it. You'd see guys with loaves of bread. Or we would actually get a whole loaf of bread stolen. So we did a lot of that. That's the best part of it. It was easy for us to get stuff. You also need my trusty olive oil. Now, luckily, the prison either you know, used olive oil and we would buy it off a guy in the kitchen in the big bottle. And how we bought that in prison was because the guards themselves got the, the officer's kitchen and they got the best stuff. So we'd get it off the guys running that, the mess cooks in the officer's uh, mess. Also, you're gonna need, obviously, a piece of tin foil. This was easy to get. There would be tin foil, they'd wrap things in tin foil in the kitchen. Guys would actually keep that. Obviously, you also need an iron. Well, most prisons have a iron. Not everybody can have an iron. What they would do with that iron is they would, you'd have to sign it out at the desk for visits. You know, a lot of guys would iron their clothes. They'd iron, uh, you know, you'd be surprised how nice they look for a visit. If you ever go and look at some of the pictures people post uh, from prison, you'll see them all, they'll have the, uh, you know, the, the stripes down, you know, they'd really do iron. I never did, I didn't really care about that. But I used an iron in this way, because I'm a, I guess I'm a fat fuck. You know, I used to love to eat, everything to do with eating. Now we do this any time of the day, you can make them any time you want, and it depends, you know. I mean, I remember going at two in the afternoon, everybody's out, I'm not working in the prison at this time. I'm either an orderly, which I did my job, I had a job on the rec yard, I had different jobs, I didn't. So I'm back in the unit and I'm saying, you know, I want a grilled cheese sandwich. That's what I want. I want myself to have a nice, good grilled cheese sandwich. And boy, I learned this in Atlanta, United States Penitentiary Atlanta. Had the most innovative guys. That's where we learned to make wine and I learned to do a lot of stuff uh, in, in that pasta, the prison pasta. Well, this, this grilled cheese was the best. And I love grilled cheese to this day, I eat grilled cheese. So I'm gonna show you how we made it. And, and you're gonna understand it after I do it. And when you see how good it is, you know this man's gonna eat it right here, right here on this video. It will be eat and it will be good. And obviously all these recipes will be in my book with a couple of stories on who I learned it from, how I learned it, and stuff of that nature. So this is gonna be a really good video uh, showing you. And I love doing the cooking videos because I just love to eat. And it's something I, I, I just always did. Now, also, with this recipe, you, I'm gonna make one sandwich, but you can make multiple sandwiches, and we used to do that at one time. So we'd get the iron, and sometimes I'd make six, six grilled cheese sandwiches, or eight grilled cheese sandwiches, depending on how many guys want a grilled cheese sandwich, how much bread we got. I'd say to one guy, hey, bring your own bread. Hey, you bring the cheese. Hey, you got the olive oil? Get the olive oil. I always had all of that as well because I used to make my prison pasta and I had that all over the place. But when you're in prison, you get to know who's the, the hustlers. That's for sure. All right, so now I am gonna make it. First thing you do, obviously, you have an iron. 
you put it on regular heat, no steam, nothing like that. First of all, in prison, we didn't have some great iron with all steam and all that crap. We had a basic iron. And I am doing this video, just so you know, as you can see, in my office. Literally in my office, I'm doing this because to show you how easy it is to do. And you can do it right at home and it's really not dangerous. I know people say, Larry, why do you show people this kind of stuff? It's not a big deal, trust me. The first thing you do, obviously, is you take your bread. Now, let me tell you how important having bread was and wrapped and fresh. You would keep this piece of cellophane. You see the way I'm opening it? I'm making sure I could reuse this cellophane. So this bread cost me probably two stamps, which is 50 cents. So I'd take my two slice lights out, and what would I do? I would wrap it up again, because one, I, I can always use the, cell, the, the, the stuff to keep things fresh, and I, wa I, I wanna make sure, in case I wanna get something else. Got my two slices of bread. Obviously, cheese the same way. It's wrapped, it comes. So now look what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna open this and get it ready. See what I'm doing? All I'm doing with my cheese, boy do I love this stuff. Look at me, I'm getting hungry already. Now, while I'm doing this, as you can see, I can actually feel this iron getting hot. And you guys know what I did with an iron. And if you haven't, go back to one of my videos in the Gangster Redemption series. And believe me, I'm not proud of that part of my life, but it, it is what it was. You'll understand that. Now you take your olive oil. So what do you do with olive oil? Now you could use butter at home. If you want to use butter, you can do use butter. But I always used olive oil. And I'll tell you why. The olive oil made it brown better and it was easier to spread in its own way on bread. So I would take my olive oil, obviously with a napkin or a, a tissue or something of this nature, and go like this. Now, look what's gonna happen. See, I'm just going like this, and it's gonna start dripping down. You see the way that's dripping down, everybody? And I'm just pouring it down a little bit. It's coming down, and look what it's happening. And I take it, and I dab my bread. I dab the whole thing in olive oil. And I love olive oil, so I'm gonna put a little bit more, get it really good. You see what I'm doing here? Now you take the one slice and turn it over on the other side. You put your slices of cheese. I always put two. See, this comes in chunks, but I would put two slices, because it's just like this. I would take the two slices Put that like that, back wrapping my cheese. Cause guess where I used to store the cheese? In my locker. I ate out of a locker. There was no refrigeration, none of that kind of stuff. Believe it or not, maybe that's why I got an iron stomach. Now I'm gonna take this next piece and I'm gonna put my, uh, look, at, look at the way I did. You see the way I dripped that oil after a little bit? When I'm doing like six or seven sandwiches, it comes so nice and easy. Cause the, the, the napkin becomes like a filter and it gets in there really good. And now you have your sandwich. Now, so now this is the oil, I call it the oil side or whatever, the butter side, you can call it whatever you want. Now you actually put this back over here. Now here is the key when you do this. You do one, thing you don't put the the t uh, cellophane back over the sandwich you could just seal it you seal it because you're keeping the heat in see what i'm saying look at that see the way i kept that heat in everybody now now this is hot you push it on here and you flatten it with a little bit of pressure not a lot a lot of pressure you don't have to cook this for hours or anything like that. I get it down, you're cooking it. The metal in the, the, the cellophane or tin foil actually is doing the cooking. See, so I like mine a little bit more than most, which meaning like they like it just a hair cooked. 
I like it a little bit darker, but you see what I'm doing? Look at this, nice. I'm getting it nice, really nice and hot. Now that is hot. You take your thing, you turn it over, and look what I did. Remember what I said, you don't double up the cellophane, and you seal it to keep the heat and everything in that cellophane package. That is what's keeping the heat, and what people don't understand when you do this kind of stuff is how cooking works with metal and electric and stuff. And I, you know, I get enough emails and, and comments. Oh, you know, someone's gonna get killed doing that. Someone's gonna you know, electrocute their house. Someone's gonna, you know what? It's never happened. It's never happened. Not to me anyway. <laughs> but this is pretty safe. I'm in my office. I'm just, look at that. Woo, baby's that hot. This is how you cook a grilled cheese. Now I'm gonna take that thing out, of course, because I'm like that. Now look. Then you open up your sandwich, and I want you guys to look at that sandwich. I want you to look at that sandwich, baby. If that isn't a perfect grilled cheese from Larry in prison, I don't know what is. And you know, when I used to make it with a lot of people, I, we used to get a, a long piece of cellophane, you know, to bring it out. And I would put as many guys who wanted to come, I would put them this way. I would bring the cellophane over, seal it all around, and every single sandwich would get done that way. And that metal on top right there can go. And believe it or not, I used to use the cellophane again for something else. You know, it wasn't like we had, hey, Larry, go down to the Publix or go to the Winn-Dixie or the Pathmark and go get yourself another, uh, you know, box of cellophane or something like that, tinfoil or nothing or the cellophane. No, you worked with what you had and that's the key. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Look at how melted, oh my gosh, that's good. You see how melted the cheese is, everybody? You seeing that? This is good stuff. Wow. Obviously, I've seen guys do different things with it. I've seen guys put tomatoes on them. I've seen guys put bacon. Who doesn't like a bacon a cheese sandwich? I never got the bacon that way, but we would get bacon only. It wasn't like they gave you bacon. You'd have to get it out of the officer's mess or some way. On a Sunday, sometimes they'd surprise you and give you a couple pieces of bacon. And it was never like, you know, they put bacon up on a, on, in a platter, you just take what you want. Wow, is this good? And I'll tell you why I like it so much. It's really, you know, when you get a bunch of guys doing this, one guy brings the cheese, one guy brings the bread, another guy has the oil. And again, it's the camaraderie. You got a bunch of guys, uh, Paul Tolini, a couple other friends of mine, we'd sit around, you know, making who's making. I used to, believe it or not, I'm not a cook now but I used to be a prison cook to a degree. I had my prison pasta, a couple other dishes. I call a pizza, I know you all say nachos, we used to call pizza, it is what it is. Food is the one thing in prison everybody gets along with. There'd be the black guys who, who, who maybe are smuggling the cheese in. There'd be the Hispanic guys who are smuggling the bread or what store man had it. What guy had the iron, he always used the iron. Use it as what they, you know, one of the guys who clean your cell, you always had the iron. So you'd say, listen, I need the iron. I need the iron for a half hour. You don't need it long. There's other ways to make an iron a grill, and we'll do that one. But this is the grilled cheese sandwich. If you don't think this is good, look at that, look at that cheese. Mm. Man, this is a good sandwich. Now, see, what I would do. I am keeping these. Let me tell you why. Because in prison, the little things count. Too many, way too many people take things for granted on the streets here out in the free world. And I will tell you what, everybody, I look at cooking in this way and you know, people ask me all the time, Larry, you know, you can go out to restaurants now, you can do stuff. This is the truth. I still love pizza, grilled cheese, I add bacon it, bacon now. Uh, I am so easy to please in the food department because I ate shit for so long. We used to get our bologna and get, and I mean, when I tell you that's true stuff, there'd be fucking green shit in the bologna. 
and stuff, and it was terrible. Or the bread, you'd start the bread first would get hard, and then you'd see a little green on it. You know what I used to do? I used to take the green off the mold and still use the bread. Maybe that's why I got a pretty good immune system, I hope. Uh, but, you know, nothing, everybody who looks at me and, and says, you don't have to do that now, you're 100% right. When I was in prison, I was in the hole, the guards would spit in my food. And I knew it was the guards because they give the food away, you know, in the, into your chute door. They open the chute door and they hand you the tray. I had to take my hand and take gob of spit out of the potatoes and eat it because I was hungry. You know, uh, it's so funny, you know, I'm 204, I look today, I'm 243 pounds. When I got out of prison, I was 189 pounds. Oh, great shape, obviously you guys seen picture. That's right when I got out. That picture you're looking at is when I got out of prison in 2007. I was in buff shape, I was ready to go, I was rocking. And you know, I, I often think about that, you know, when they say food, now I love food so much. I always say, you know, how much is it gonna take to do that? I was pretty much starving myself. I was eating peanut butter off the commissary, you know, by the jar just to get protein. You know, I would eat uh, rice just to fill myself up. I mean, obviously I did a lot of things and a lot of cardio and a lot of things I can't do. I was a lot younger too. And I, so I'm not, you know, blaming just the prison system, but the prison system food sucks, man. There's nobody I know who says prison food's good. Nobody. Ever. Nobody will tell you. But every person you ever want to talk to, and you can get them, and I'll have them come here again. You ask Paul Tolini or my brother or any guy I was with. When we ate, we ate good, man, because we made it with, I, I call it, we made it with love and, and compassion because everybody was involved. Uh, Massey, the guard, a good friend now, uh, he still cooks it. He still cooks prison pasta. And that's how I got him. I'm going to be interviewing him again. So we figured out ways to make it in prison. And that's why I try, like to show you guys how we did it in prison. Now I want you to try it. I want you to try making my grilled cheese. And let's see how good you can do it. And I want you to comment or you, I want you to go to the fan page uh, on my emails in the YouTube here. You go to the about and you'll see fans. And you can email me and tell me what you thought of making it. Make it the same way. I don't know if you're gonna get in trouble at home, but you're not gonna hurt anything. You're not gonna hurt anybody. Do it the way I said, and you're gonna have a great grilled cheese sandwich, and people are gonna say, how did you learn that? You tell them you got it from Larry. Larry's cooking show uh, right here on YouTube, and I'm gonna make my uh, prison cooking book. Now, of course, when I told you about the prison cooking book, we're gonna do it with stories with other people. Obviously, because of COVID, we couldn't do that, uh, but I am gonna do that. You all know about my RV and I am going on the road and I am gonna do more interviews like that and maybe some cooking show, uh, cooking stuff inside that as well. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my grilled cheese, the prison way. You have a great day everybody. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please pass this video on. Help us get to our next million. We're going for 10 million. We got the gold and we got the silver and I want the diamond. I want the diamond. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for your support. You know I, I, I really appreciate it. Uh, without your support, I couldn't do what I do. And you guys have all been by me, from Discord to fans to everybody that comments. You guys have been here the whole way, and thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Have a great day, everybody. Much love, much, much respect. Stay safe out there.